dilemma of Trieste and her 380,000 people, claimed by both Italy and Yugoslavia, is finally settled in London. Italy's ambassador, Brozio, signs an agreement giving Italy one part of Trieste and Yugoslavia, represented by Ambassador Velovit, the other. A map fixing the new frontier is carefully examined and then initialed by the diplomats. Italy takes the northern part, Zone A, 86 square miles, and Yugoslavia's representative accepts Zone B, the southern part, 199 square miles. Residents may emigrate at will under the pact, healing a diplomatic sore spot in Europe. Aerial messengers are prepared at Fryung, deep in the Bavarian forest, where leaflets carrying news and encouraging messages are stuffed in balloons for a trip over the Iron Curtain. Once inflated, the balloons will soar far into red Czechoslovakia. The project is carefully mapped for wind direction, and then the balloons are released. It is carried on by Radio Free Europe. As many as 400 an hour can be sent along. A fascinating sight for young eyes watching freedom's message being sent to tyranny's victims.